This channel is for educational purposes only. We show you the how-tos. This should not be constituted as financial advice. Please contact a professional in that area to let you know what you should do with your money. Welcome back. And what you guys are here for is how to do a limit order on Gemini. And that's what we're about to get into. First, let's fund the account. I only have 52 cents in this thing from the last experiment we did. To do that, let's go straight to your portfolio. And we're going to make a deposit. We're going to deposit the money from our link bank account. I'm just going to use about 40 bucks today and review it. And let's see how long it takes to process. This is a problem with Gemini. Those funds won't be there until the 15th, but we can start trading right now. And go back to our homepage. And our balance is there. Now, as long as you remember to keep that account funded, you won't have any problems. But this is the whole point of cryptocurrency, faster settlement times. This is a five day wait from the time that I made that transaction from the uh, bank to the exchange. Cryptocurrency, whether you're talking Bitcoin or Ethereum or XRP, it's all about the transfer of funds instantly and instantly updated on the ledger. That's the whole point. Settlement times like this is why traditional banking is kind of going away of the dinosaur. Once we start getting more adaptation of this technology, you will start seeing instant settlement times automatically updated on the electronic ledger. Okay, no more delaying. We'll go ahead and get this limit order set up on Gemini. You don't even have to go anywhere from the home page. It's right here under the instant button. This is where you typically make your market purchases. Just go ahead and click that. And there's where you'll find your limit buy selection. Go ahead and select it. What are we going to buy? Let's do, let's do ship today. And we're going to go ahead and select ship. And we're going to do the limit and let's set the price now right there is where you're going to find the current going rate for shiba ship uh shiba in you um let's say we want to buy it and again the rules for buying on limit limit buy orders it has to be the current market price or lower it has to be lower than the current market price you don't set limit prices or limit buys at a future higher amount only when you can save some money keep that in the rule because you want to buy low sell high when you sell do a limit sell order you're talking about selling above the limit price or current market price so we're going to set the limit price at Two, five, and the amount of $20. Let's go ahead and review that order and confirm the buy. Check the details. And there you have it. Now remember what limit sell, it's just the opposite. You have your limit or current market price, your limit price, and it's going to be set at whatever it is, the crypto that you're saying, uh, selling. Let's go ahead and take a look at my portfolio. And I just happen to have some more XRP in here. I got about 13 bucks worth. Okay. Again, this time, let's go ahead and open her up. And what am I going to do? We're going to go straight back to that instant button. Make it a limit. And we're going to do a limit sell. Now, what is a limit sell? 
Current price, limit price, is 59 cents per coin. We're going to sell this if it ever hits 70 cents per coin. And how much? You can do it in dollars or in XRP. Currently, we have 22 XRP. Let's go ahead and just sell 20 of it. That's uh, $14. It'll reach that approximate price. Going to go ahead and review the order and confirm the sell. And that limit order is set. Go ahead and look at your details. It's an open order. We're done. And just in case you ever want to cancel these limit orders before they execute, you have that option here done here let's go back to our portfolio and that's where we'll find our open limit orders all nice and pretty knowing is half the battle not limiting yourself to just one exchange whenever there is some crypto that you want to purchase fast and efficient getting to know the applications is part of your success make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the uh, notification button on the links. And tune in next time. We'll be talking about some more how-tos. Thank you for watching.